His main mission in the profession and in his life is to tell people the truth. He was a tough but fair man, and it's probably impossible to find a single person who could say that Dima once was lying. Journalist Dilerbek Shakirov joined the territorial defense of Kherson from the first days of the Russian invasion. On February 26, on the third day of the war, he was shot by the invaders with automatic weapons. The aggressor seeks to wipe out any mention of his crimes from the face of the earth. Therefore, they kill all possible witnesses, military, civilians and journalists. If Dilerbek Shakirov had not died, he could have told the world about the Russian occupation of Kherson, about how the town's people stubbornly took to the streets with Ukrainian flags protesting against the Russian invaders, how the people of Kherson tried to stop enemy equipment with their bare hands. He would tell how the occupying troops tried several times to hold a fake referendum, but the Ukrainians frustrated their plans. Nevertheless, he would not be silent, knowing how many fellow journalists the Russian occupiers threatened to keep silent about the crimes of the aggressor's army. The killings and shootings of journalists are a gross violation of international law. The enemy can turn a blind eye to laws, but he cannot close the eyes of the world to crimes. Honoring the memory of the dead for the truth, we continue to tell their immortal stories.